it's time to dive into the code of um, Xmonad. I've just told you that there are two files that are important for the launch and the success of the launch of Xmonad. That's autostart.sh, which is actually not from Xmonad, but it launches everything, so it needs to be okay as well. And this guy is the only one that is the complete setting or configuration of your system. It's all in here. So first things first, why uh, auto start first? Because that's basically what's going to happen in line 43. This is just importing all kinds of stuff from libraries, but basically it starts here. Get me this script and auto start.sh. So let's start here. I think we should go first into the resolutions. So normally Xmonad says, okay, I have here a screen of this particular size, 1920 on 1080, and I don't need to set anything. But there is always a but, and I have good reason to install Xrender on all the ISO. So I've just made that decision, I don't know, a week or two ago, and Xrender is an application that's quite handy. Xrender gives you uh, names, right? Names of your screen. This is called HDMI 1. Here it is. And this is your resolution. That's the Hertz. So all the information is here available to be able to set it accordingly. If it does not work out of the box, and that might happen, then I need you to make, uh, need to make you smarter because these lines are in here for a reason. At this point in time, I'm making the videos and looking at two screens that look exactly the same. They're mirrored. If I don't want that, and if I want to use my two screens, all I need to do is delete this thing, this hashtag, and this long line becomes active. How in God's name did I figure that out? Okay, Control Z safe all about resolution X render there is another application and that's called let's uh, use another menu there is also a render that's it yeah I was thinking how it's called again a render is a graphical way of uh, showing things and this means I can slide it over so, okay, this is HDMA 1, so you see it here as well, 1 and 2. And now you decide which one is goes to the left and which one goes to the right by just dragging along quite graphically. And then you have lots of possibilities. You know, new, open, save as, that's what we're going to do. View 1.16, outputs, active, primary resolution. You can change these things, right? We're not going to change our orientation, but who knows uh, if you want to change things, uh, it's there. Anyway, if you say this is a setup I want, you have this button as well. I think it's the same as save here, save as. And when you do it, it's going to be written to Eric screen layout. And let's call it test. So dot screen layout, test, save. Kill this application or Ctrl Q or Super Shift Q. Let's kill, no, let's leave that, leave that open. Super Shift Return. Something happened. Where is this thing? Screen layout. Double click, test. What's in here? Well, yes, let's open it with Atom. Here is the code. He figured it out that there is an output HDMI 2 with mode, that's kind of resolution. Well, that's the position, rotate, they are normal. These guys can go. If you don't want to see that, it will work as well without that. But basically, copy, paste the line, Control C, go to your auto start, put it in here, Control V, and then let's do this hashtag in front of it, you compare these two lines, this line in here, that line under there, 
it's exactly the same thing. All right? So that's how you can figure out and tell the system, forget, don't forget, I have two screens. And you need to figure it out because names are different. LVDS1 is, I don't know from who it was again, but uh, it's from our developers and our, our beta testers also. So to make it easy, their life easy, the only thing they need to do now is just say, Boop, and everything is set. So it's that line that's important. That's if, uh, if it is, is needed, then you can set it with X render, A render. Um, and there is another thing. We can do that as well in this video, just telling anyway that it's in here because it also concerns X render, A render. I was at some point in time working on a virtual machine, I think it was, where the native resolution was not available. So I could not get to my proper uh, settings. This 1920 on 1080 had this image that was uh, too small. So I typed this in my system, GTF, and this is then the result. You need to copy paste it later. This was the result. And I've, did I make a video about it? Um, don't know anymore. Anyway, so this is the solution. Type GTF and then your standard resolution in there. Standard Hertz, you probably know that from other desktops. You get a line in there and you get, you use these codes again. As you can see here, it gives us an output and that output is going to be replacing um, this then probably with another resolution maybe. Then you add the mode virtual one change this guy to your resolution, the same resolution here, same res resolution there. And basically we have then, uh, we can choose then the proper resolution on your virtual machine, which is of course what you wanted to do that. But this is just for virtual box. Um, maybe I should change the name, set screen resolution in virtual box. I think it was virtual box, I don't know, VMware, virtual box, it's the same. They work similar, not the same, similar. So that's all about screen resolutions and we'll go into detail about the other things. So that's the first bunch of code that's up here.